Hey guys, this is Mario Kart. Um, I just want to show you guys the new Max script I made. Um, this now allows you to export your geometry uh, from 3ds Max to XNet Lore. Okay. Um, I'm releasing this. I'm releasing the script kind of premature because this isn't isn't 100% yet, but um, it's kind of on par with the Blender script. Uh, the Blender script will allow you to export geometry from Blender um, to a text file, which uh, XNet Lore could uh, then convert to a, 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 a bleh, a binary format and uh, then it just reads from that uh, mesh format, the, the, the binary format. So uh, yeah, um, the Max script it now exports to a text file which converts fine and uh, works in uh, XNet Lora. Okay, and uh, since then I've developed it a bit more to uh, focus the script more on the generic item uh, type. Uh, the generic item is actually a, uh, a model in XNet Lora which allows the user freedom to tweak the materials. Okay, so it's it's really material specific. And based on that, it has all these stupid rendering group things. And uh, each rendering group is actually is actually a, a material profile. Um, what, I mean, what I mean by profile is that it has to have a certain amount of textures and whatever. These textures will be manipulated, manipulated differently in um, XNA lore when it renders, so it's a, it's a it's a profile more more or less than it is an actual group. But anyway, um, what I had to do is I had to make my Max script transist the the C materials into a profile that is valid in XNA Laura, and you can see there's there's differences between the two systems. So obviously there's going to be some some headbutting there. So yeah, this is um, I'm putting up the script because um, I really don't do a lot of porting for XNA lore. I haven't really done any so I need people in the scene who have done a lot of it to give me feedback so I know how to adjust my script accordingly and th I'm, sure, I'm sure there's a lot I haven't done properly because this is actually the second uh, model exporter I've ever made so yeah and uh, there's a lot of there's really a lot of stuff I, I want to explain in detail but just, there's not a lot of time here and uh, I'm gonna keep it until I have the final product of the script um, not product but the, the final script um, once I have that, I'll go more in detail about specifics about geometry and things to look out for and stuff like that. But anyway, uh, right now I'm just going to show you guys how to export uh, your geometry. Okay, so we're just going to go into Max. Um, right now, I create a cylinder, a bone chain, and I add a texture. Okay, um, I believe I've added four maps to this to make this kind of current gen. Okay, so I've added a oops. Added a ambient occlusion map, added a diffuse map, a specularity map, and a normal map. So that's pretty much basic. Well, not basic, but uh, that's the the like bare minimum of current generation graphics. You got your diffuse, your spec, and your bump. Okay. Unfortunately, um, XNA Lore doesn't have a profile for diffuse, spec, and bump. Instead, it has a profile for ambient occlusion. Uh, diffuse, spec, and bump. So it takes four maps. So you have to have your ambient occlusion map there. If you don't, um, my script should just add a dummy one. And um, but if that if it does that, then your your model will be will be black because <laughs> you need to actually put a map there. Because if there's no map, then it'll just be black. If there's a missing map in uh, XNA Lore, your your output's gonna be black. That's that's why it's black. But uh, yeah, you ha just keep in mind if you want to use this kind of material setup. Put in uh, a white map there for your ambient occlusion. Even though, if, even though it's white, it won't do anything. But uh, put it there. Hey, anyway, so uh, um, yeah. So anyway, that's your material setup. And uh, the max script is assuming or expecting actually um, a mesh. Okay, you can have multiple meshes, doesn't matter. Uh, but it expect expects to have a mesh with a skin modifier with X amount of bones. So that's the kind of setup, scene setup that the script or I or I expected to see. In your scene, okay, but of course, I'm aware there's many possibilities to to different things in your scene, like controllers and helpers and reactors and stuff like that. I have actually haven't tested with that stuff. That's kind of complicated. Um, so if you have a lot of that stuff in your scene, and it's causing you export problems. Let me know, and I'll, I'll compensate for that, and I'll I'll try to have it uh, the script read from that as well. And uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, Besides that, it's just pretty much um, export. So materials are really, really important. The better you have your materials in Max, the better they'll they'll 
they'll be in Xnate lore. Okay, so you want to keep away from just diffuse only. Okay, but that's fine. But uh, you want to have more detail. That's the key there, detail. So at the least, very least, you want to keep on this formula, um, a light map or ambient occlusion map, diffuse map, specularity map, and neural map. These are really basic for current generation standards. Okay, very basic. Of course, you can have more, like you can have an environment map, a cube map maybe, or uh, you can have uh, a detail map. Okay stuff like that, maskings and stuff like that. That stuff's more complicated, so I won't really get into it again in this video. But anyway, um, let's get to exporting this thing out. Uh, you can get the Mac script from this YouTube video. I'm going to be uploading it to YouTube. Uh, under the description here, I'll have a pastebin.org link. Follow that. I'll bring it to pastebins.org, and uh, there will be my Mac script. Okay. Somewhere on the page, you, you should be able to save the, the file. So you're going to save as, and you're going to save it as whatever, but uh, make sure the extension is ms. So for example, my script, my script uh, dot ms. Okay. So anyway, once you have the ms there, you can then go to Mac script in 3ds Max and go to run. And now it's going to be looking for a file called ms. Okay. So I'm just going to open up mine. Okay. So now I'm going to run it. Immediately, it's going to pop up with a save box. Uh, right now there's no user interface so uh, I just go straight to export so uh, anyway uh, in your XNA lore um, directory you're gonna go into data and you're gonna make a subfolder okay so I'm just gonna save mine into this folder called test box because all the textures are here okay and uh, I left this here just to show you that you have to have uh, a specific name to your export okay I, I left it so you can name it anything just for flexibility uh, f so people can troubleshoot whatever but uh, anyway um, you have to have this exact naming system so generic underscore item dot mesh dot ASCII okay so it has to be that otherwise it'll crash so I'm just going to overwrite this one for now uh, this actually takes kind of a long time uh, this is just a box but it took like 30 seconds or 10 seconds or something like that uh, on a larger file like a 30k polygon model could take up upwards to like three minutes, two minutes. So um, I want to try and improve that time for the final script because right now I'm doing optimization, which is taking too much time. But anyway, uh, so yeah, that's that's all done. Uh, normally you won't have this mesh file here, okay? Uh, but you have to convert your text file to a mesh file because right now it's just a text, um, it's just normal text. So we're gonna use Dunstan's converter, mesh the text, drag and drop that to there, and it'll generate your mesh file. Easy. Okay, so now we can boot up XNA Lore and have a look at our conversion. Okay, so we're just going to open that file. Um, these errors are just about empty folders I have, so just, just ignore that for now. Uh, so we're just going to open up our conversion test box. And uh, there you go. Uh, it doesn't show too great, uh, probably because the materials I picked weren't too great, but uh, if we mess around with the light parameters, we should be able to see more of that. Uh, uh, normal maps and stuff in action so yeah, you can see that the normal maps are there along with the spec map so yeah that's that's your um, your current generation material and it'll look I'm sure it'll look better if you're using a more proper material setup my textures were kinda just uh, uh, throw, thrown together like you just it's just a scribble <laughs> but anyway so yeah um, max uh, 3s max the XNA lower it seems to be working okay again it, it only works within what I expect there to be there so again if there's something there that I should change you have to let me know and I will change it especially keep an eye on the materials because I'm not really sure about the materials so if you have any issues with materials let me know fix that as well okay right so um, yeah so have a go at that uh, please download the script try it out uh, let me know if there's any issues you have and yeah so yeah uh, good luck and thanks for watching